Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my firm assists um, psychologists and behavioral analysts with the Arizona Board of Psychology Investigations. So if you're watching this video, you're either a psychologist or a behavioral analyst, and you are either uh, an applicant that's now under investigation, maybe due to some past criminal conduct, or uh, potentially in other states, a uh, discipline against you, in the past, or you are a currently licensed uh, through the board and they have initiated an investigation. Uh, it, I mean, as you know, investigations can come from many places. It could be a patient complaint, a complaint from a colleague. Um, it could be due to some kind of criminal self-reporting requirement, uh, substance abuse issues, behavioral health concerns um, for the licensee themselves. Uh, there are a multitude of ways of getting in trouble with the board, and our goal is to assist the licensee with getting through the investigation uh, with the outcome being, uh, you know, the minimum discipline that we can obtain. So uh, how we help our clients during the process is we certainly tell them what to say and what not to say during the process. If there is an interview, then obviously we prep them for that. Uh, with this board, they have a complaint screening committee, which is a little different than most of the other boards, where um, you'll go in front of three members of the current board, which are called the complaint screening committee. And then that committee will decide whether to forward the complaint to the full board or not. So that's an, kind of an important difference between this board and others. If it is forwarded to the board for review, then that's what will happen. Uh, the board will at some point in the future meet and discuss your case and they make a decision. Uh, we are there to kind of hold your hand throughout the process. And as I said before, try to minimize the disciplinary outcome, because as you can imagine, a disciplinary outcome can have some uh, pretty dire consequences on someone's professional future. So if you'd like some more information about the Arizona Board of Psychology Complaints or Investigations, you can contact us at my, the phone number listed below. Uh, or you can reach us through our website at ShellyLaw.com. That's C-H-E-L-L-E-Law.com. And I appreciate you watching this video and take care.